summertime holidays tend to be barbecues, tend to be food out, outdoors. And one thing that dogs are actually sensitive to are salts. Now, it can be dietary salt that we have in our foods, but it also can be rock salt. If you live in a cold climate and you use rock salt on your driveways and your sidewalks, dogs sometimes will be attracted to that and eat it. And the problem with salt is that it, 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 it's a nervous system poison as well, that when they have too much sodium circulating in their bloodstream, a lot of that sodium gets into the brain. And when it travels into the cerebral spinal fluid and gets into, around the brain, it causes uh, an osmotic force of fluid to be drawn into the brain, causing cerebral edema. The dog can start to act in a, uh, bizarrely, so it can start to head press, it can start to circle, it can start to have seizures, but ultimately they die, and they die fairly quickly. Uh, it's possible for a dog to be overdosed on salt, just that we use on our food. So things that, that if we're oversalting, corn on the cob, or mashed potatoes, or some of the barbecue meats, even though for us who have somewhat of a tolerance to sodium in the diet, because we tend to eat a lot more salts than dogs, it, it might not take much for a smaller dog to be overdosed on salt. Um, and so you want to be really careful about, around salted foods, even if they're not ordinarily toxic to the dog.